right, so we're here with Emily Nishikawa at the Frozen Thunder Distance uh, Day. How did things go today, Emily? Um, really good. Yeah, I was happy with the race. It's a nice course out here today. Um, it held up pretty well. One of the hills got a little uh, sugary, so that was uh, good practice to ski in deep, deep snow. But um, yeah, I felt good and I was happy with the way I skied today. How was the summer? What did you get up to training-wise and camps and that sort of thing? Yeah, I had a great summer. Um, I was in Canmore for most of it, with um, one exception. I went to New Zealand and I joined the Paranordic team for a three-week camp there, which was amazing. Um, so yeah, getting back on snow is is uh, super important for me in the summertime, so I was happy to do that. And then um, I've been here in Canmore for the fall, enjoying Frozen Thunder. Nice. Yeah. How was the skiing in New Zealand? Uh, New Zealand's incredible. We had um, probably the best conditions they've had there in like 10 years. So uh, we were really spoiled with the conditions and they opened up all the trails. And so yeah, pretty amazing to be there. And what's next for you now coming up? Uh, a few more weeks of training here uh, and then I'll be off to Europe at the end of November uh, for a Swiss Cup and then the last two World Cups before Christmas. Okay, and what's your focus for the season? What are you uh, shooting for? Um, the race I've been thinking about for a long time is the 10K Classic at World Champs in Seafeld. So that's my, the biggest target. Um, as well, uh, the finals in Quebec City are going to be an amazing events. So I'm really excited for that. Yeah, no kidding. What are the events at the finals this year? A uh, sprint and then a two 10Ks. Um, so mass start and then a pursuit start. Nice, so yeah, that'll good, be super fun. Good race for you. Yeah. <laughs> you bet. Right on. Well, thank you, Emily. Best of luck this season. Thanks be so watching. much.